Guys, welcome back. I'd like to welcome you all personally, every one of you, to this Ravnica Remix draft. And for those who don't know, Ravnica Remix, uh, if you guys haven't caught the first two drafts we did, Ravnica Remix is a combined, they're combined packs of Ravnica uh, Alliance, Allegiance? Alliance or Allegiance? You guys know the one. And uh, Guilds of Ravnica packs. So the first pack is has a higher concentration of gold cards. And the second two have a higher concentration of monocolor cards and fixing cards. So you kind of you're kind of a uh, you're kind of a uh, encouraged to take the the good multicolor cards in the first pack and then build around those in the second and third pack. It's been pretty sweet. I actually enjoyed this quite a bit when I played it th yesterday because it feels like it, it feels like a new set. It feels like you're building new decks. Uh, it feels like you're almost always building three color decks. So that's pretty cool because you know you you get to you get you you weren't able to do it as easily in the in the individual sets but now that you have all all both sets together uh you can build something like esper because you have orza orzhov uh azorius and demir in the same packs so it's pretty sweet new zealand does get left off of many many maps that's insane why is that a thing is that is it like is it like forgetful or resentful is it like That's insane. It's inconvenient. <laughs> it's, oh, look, buddy. I'm sorry, New Zealand. It's just not convenient for us to pretend you exist. That's crazy, dude. Did you guys all see my article that went up on CoolStuffInc.com yesterday? It was pretty sweet. You should definitely check it out. I would highly recommend checking it out because I'm a cool dude. And uh, it, you should leave a comment. Facebook was down for most of the day yesterday, so. I don't know what the command is. Article? I don't know. BioVisionary made a command for yesterday and it was a good one, but I don't, I forgot what it was. Very much like terms and conditions they're not cared about and get ignored. Yeah, no one wants to read all of New Zealand when you buy a new product. Cool stuff article. That's good. That makes sense. I'm going to click on this and see if we got any more any more comments. Oh. Water Sports Drew says, "Frank's ready for cool stuff now?" How awesome is that? Great article, Frank. Been following your stuff since around 2009. I've always been of the opinion that your writing ability, magic knowledge, and personality are all top-notch. Water sports true. Thank you so much, buddy. Very much look forward to more articles. By the way, this deck looks super sweet. I remember Frank playing it on stream a while back and Googling how much the cards cost. If only New Kaya didn't surge in price recently on MTGO. Well, if that's a problem, you guys can definitely borrow cards through a subscription service with Mana Traders. Uh, you can definitely check out the link in my description of the YouTube video or of the Twitch stream you are watching currently. And with my uh, with my promo link, or the code down below, you can get twenty percent off your first three months, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Not sure about the personality. Double surprise, Pikachu. No, Shut we love you. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. One Frank token. Is that is that a token though? I think that's a dollar. I don't think you know the difference between tokens and dollars. The more I learn about you, Kerwit, the more I'm surprised. Although I'm pretty sure there were some issues yesterday because Facebook and um, Facebook and Instagram were down for quite a while, and I I kept getting comments that people some people were like, hey, they left a comment and uh, really really liked it, but then there was no comment from them on the actual article, so I think it was like it, they just didn't go through. I think it sucked because like yesterday was the uh, shut the, up and take my money. What are you talking about? I'm you. <laughs> oh well then, I had no idea. Now I know. Um, yeah, it was awkward because yesterday was the first, the first article of mine that went up. And of course, when I'm looking forward to getting some feedback or getting some, getting some supportive comments so that it seems like it, it was well received, that's the day Facebook goes down and the comment system is based in Facebook. So shut up and take my money. What's happening now? Three Frank tokens are what's I, 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 I did I miss this token meme in the chat? Is there something going on right now?
Anyway, we're going to open this phantom pack, and there's going to be a Doom Whisper right here. Oh, it was a Tasa Karlov. If a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers twice, and then your tokens get buffy boys. This is probably the best first pick I can think of. I could see taking Guild Summit or Blade Juggler, but I think Tasa is a pretty sweet build around. Oh, Frank Coin? I could just start a Frank Coin. I could, I guess. We could just be the next... Uh, the next currency. Have a bunch of extra ice cream for this weekend because the store opens tomorrow and I need to last. That's why I have an extra freezer now in my garage. This is all extra ice cream. Wow. I've never this is like this is like seeing the sausage made. I'm gonna highlight this taste so I don't miss it. But you guys can I'm gonna show you this Matthew Ori garage full of ice cream. This is all extra ice cream. Dear God. The life of an ice cream salesman in the summertime. What a time to be alive. Anyway, we're taking this 2-4. Night Veil Predator gets passed to us? What was the rare you took, my dude? Also, Skewer the Critics? Buzz. I think we just want the Night Veil Predator. I'm totally fine with that. We can splash Tesa. We can just be Esper. Thank you. Uh, my car... <laughs> Badger, I don't know if you... Uh, I don't know if we're Facebook friends. You can add me on Facebook, but like, I made a Facebook post today. Actually, that, that, uh, that car donation goal is woefully low. Uh, my Facebook post says last week I spent 500 on a new 12 volt battery and a serpentine belt came to about like 530 and then I spent $400 on new tires 392 on new tires uh, today I spent $1200 I went I went to go get my combination meter which is the thing on the Prius that tells you like the speed or what gear you're in or you know your, how many how fast how many miles are on the car um, it's, it's called a combination meter and it's the thing that lights up the dash and has all of the, the, the info displayed. And in the 2006 to 2009, 2004 to 2009, the generation twos, they, they've been known to go bad. The soldering is usually weak on the back and they wear out over time. So it's a known issue. Wow. Dovin Bond. That's pretty good. Why would you, I know it's phantom, but like, are you still going to pass a planeswalker and there's still a law mages binding in this pack? What did people take? And, um, so, so anyway, I went in to get the combination meter repaired, which is like 300 bucks. Um, and then he was, uh, they also did a bunch of, uh, diagnostics on it. And there was, these guys were super nice. It was like a store, like a, a shop, like right near my house, actually surprisingly close. And, um, they were super cool and they just happened to have a new hybrid battery. That was, uh, that it was from a, a vehicle that actually was totaled. So they just have a. It just, it was, they took it out of the vehicle. It had a three-year warranty on it. So it still has two years of the warranty. It was just installed last year. And um, my hybrid battery, obviously my car is at 200,000 miles and I've had it for six years and it's an 06. So it's a 12 year old car. And the hybrid battery was pretty rough. It could use a replacement. Wow. And a Basilica Bell Haunt. And a another Law Mages binding? Jeez. Jeez. Anyway. So, I think it's actually Law Mage's Binding here. It's a little easier to cast, although we might not find another Bell Haunt. Oh my god, Badger. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. You are unbelievably helpful and generous and supportive, and you're an awesome dude. I really appreciate you. And I'm going to confirm your friend request. Um, so, yeah, and then... After the diagnostics and the and we realized the hybrid battery could definitely be replaced and, and I was wasn't getting great mileage and I was you know I was straining the actual motor. Um, they sold me the the hybrid battery they had with a two year warranty for um, seven hundred bucks. So my bill today ended up being eleven eighty seven. So after five hundred tires last week, four hundred in or four hundred tires and five hundred in. Um, 400 in new battery and so now i have a new 12 volt battery a new hybrid battery a new serpentine belt and new tires and a new combination meter and it cost me about what like 12 9 2100 bucks so i spent like 2100 bucks on my car in the past two weeks it's been a surprisingly rough uh <laughs> rough expenses i had i was not expecting to, to to spend these these i was not expecting to spend these but here we are and I could have bought, yeah, you could have bought a new Prius, but the problem is like, 
if I buy a new Prius, am I just going to have these same issues down the road? A new hybrid battery, a new combination meter, like all these things, when they're brand new, I might as well just fix them. Because a 200,000 200, miles on a Prius is not a lot. Priuses can go from between 300 and 500,000 miles. And like, and like having, having these things repaired with, with a two year and three year, the combination meter has a three year warranty. Obviously the tires were new, so they have their own warranty. And the, uh, the Prius, the hybrid battery has at least a two year warranty. So I'm good for at least two to three years. And, uh, you know, that, that being the case, like it's really hard to, it's hard to complain about it. I mean, like it sucks. It's not $2,100 is not really what I was looking to spend. Um, but it is what it is. Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are insane. You are insanely generous. Really appreciate it, buddy. It is definitely... It, it, it's always helpful. You are one of the most helpful dudes I know. And I don't even really know you. <sighs> this pack's pretty poop. Probably just want Impassioned Orator. There's nothing really great in here. Oh, uh, I do like a Dark Blade agent. I'm a riddle wrapped in an enigma. Ah! Uh, I don't know, man. You seem pretty straightforwardly generous. <laughs> wrapped in a very poor dress sense. Okay, that's... I think that's probably the most accurate part. I'm going to take this Dark Blade agent. You see how I insulted your dress sense there? <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked. Capture Sphere is actually solid removal. It's four mana to get rid of any dude. Whatever. I think it's probably gonna be better than Leapfrog in this deck. Alright, maybe we just want another impassioned orator. I'll take another orator. Oh, another dark Oh, Syndicate Syndic Messenger is great because it triggers with Tesa. And we don't have any surveil cards yet, so I'm just gonna take the The floaty boy. Is already a skilled gate we have to take. This deck is oh notion rain? Wow. Our deck is looking sweet so far. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting the afterlife. Hey, Persistent Petitioners. That sounds good. 500 kilometers? Man, what? no one even uses kilometers. Come on. Somehow I sold 300 worth of ice cream yesterday in three hours, which that is pretty ridiculous, dude. I would definitely stock up for the weekend. Also, I imagine ice cream keeps pretty well, so I wouldn't even worry about, like, not, you know, not going through it fast enough or whatever. Zagan is cool. Orzov Guildgate's cool. I think we're just taking this deadly visit. Yeah, it's a deadly visit. It's pretty good. We missed one yesterday. Kaya's Wrath? God, we get to get Kaya and Kaya's Wrath? My god. Rock Charger are also pretty insane. I'm glad they realized this card is definitely an uncommon, not a common. Kill a Miles? Is that what you said? Oh, you did say Kill a Miles. Just like the King of in England intended. Yeah, we're going to take the Kaya's Wrath, right? Because it's just really good. Oh, we don't have Kai. We have Taysa Karlov. Those are not the same at all. Only want to see you standing in the notion rain. Notion rain. Notion rain. Never meant to deal you any damage. Never meant to draw you any cards. Oh, I like this guy. This dude is great. And there's nothing else in this pack that's really good. It's really it's really weird seeing mentor cards in the same pack as like other cards. What the hell does that mean? This our deck is looking insane right now. Fantastic. It's a hit. 10 out of 10. Platinum is, is coming. Oh, 
Oh, I just got an email from Swenny Boy. Oh, Swenny Boy. Which means me and Mike should probably do some Commander next week if you guys are down for it. Here's another ice cream look in case you guys are interested. Look how big this photo is, too. That's a lot of ice cream, dude. I think Ice Cream Matt needs to come to Florida one day. Oh, man, can you imagine we just an ice cream stream? It even rhymes, Matthew Ori. It even rhymes. This pack's not great. It might just be Demir Lockett. Just because our deck is not quick, and uh, having an on-color locket seems pretty decent. I don't think we want another 4-drop here. Ice cream, Mike. Ice cream, Mike. Ice cream stream late May when I can visit. Are you going to be in Florida in late May? Uh oh, I hear the Roomba starting right now. It's going to be loud. Distorted Truth. Finally catching Frank Ward stream live. Best birthday gift ever. Happy birthday, Distorted Truth. Happy birthday, buddy. Glad you can catch the stream live. Night Veil Sprite should not be in this pack still, but I'm going to take it. I'll be in Central Fall late May. Dude, you guys need to let me know when you're here. I would definitely meet up with you guys. For sure. John and Badger, I would definitely meet up with you guys. <laughs> Probably. Definitely in the U.S. Well, it's basically the same. Somewhere in the U.S. and Florida is basically the same thing. I'm going to take this disinformation campaign. We have Notion Rain and Night Veil Sprite. And that's it now. But we still have another pack. And Deadly Visit and Watcher. Yeah, all right. All right. Ooh, Sphinx is in sight. Where are all the two drops in my deck? I'm actually really enjoying... Oh, another Azoria Skyguard? Are you serious? Wow. I can't tell if our deck is really good or just kind of too slow. It looks really good. Reno to be specific, and I know the two places aren't close. I'm glad you know that. That's like me being like Australia. It's basically close to China. I could just... Yeah, definitely watch out for Florida, man. He's no joke. Azorius Locket. I don't think we're playing a two Locket deck, but I will take this guy because it might be better than something else. Muse Drake was definitely playable. <laughs> Remix is an invalid domain name, apparently, just so you guys know. Uh, I like Devious Cover-Up better than Senate Griffin here. Uh, I'm going to be real with you guys, John. Beerman Man would definitely be the closest to Florida Man that I've ever seen. He might be the closest Florida Man I've ever seen. Does Florida man hate Triangle man? Nobody knows. Florida man. What's he like? Nobody knows. Florida man. Yeah, I'll take that. Chad, Frank, you have blessed these people with a full house Bash Bros opening. It's so good. It's actually very good. It's unbelievably good. I watched it like three times. I was like, this is amazing. There's a podcast that uh, Corey Baumeister, Brad Nelson, and Brian Braun do and do. Do, do, do. And uh, <laughs> Brian Braun do and do. Do and do. And I'm just going to keep saying it because it's funny. And uh, they did an opening. Uh, that's reminiscent of the old Full House opening. And it's friggin' hilarious. It blew my mind. I'm just gonna take this Hired Poisoner because I think it's actually just what I needed. In the words of Rico Kasich and the Cars. I think there could be a, a, a defense made for the Skyline Scout, but I think we're trying to just, like, stall the board here. Oh, 
deadly visit and whisper agent and another sphinx's insight i'm gonna take every single uh every single guild gate that i find that is on color Also, I did not realize that that donation was from Chan Chan. My buddy Chan Chan. I had no idea. Now I know. Oh, Deadweight is nice. Deadweight's real nice. I don't care about your 2 2. I don't care about Sworn Companions. Can we get uh, get you on a TV game show? I think you would. Uh, that would be awesome. I would love it. I'm going to take Azorius Guild Gate. It trumps everything in this pack. Now we have two Azorius Guild Gates. Give me one, two Orzhov Guild Gates, and I'm good to go. Am I going to Vegas in August? What's August? Is that is that Grand Prix Vegas? Magic Fest Vegas, if you will? Maybe. Where are my guild gates at? I do like a gateway sneak. I think this guy's fine. It's a 1-3, block stuff. It's better than 6-drop, 3-drop, 5-drop, 5-drop. That is not the guild gate we're looking for, nor is this. Whisper Agent, though, is pretty okay. I'm pretty okay with Whisper Agent. I would say we can cut the white, but like a lot of our core cards, like our, our one drops, two very good three drops, two very good six drops. Yeah, this is probably the best card in the pack. We're also at 25 cards now. I could donate 123 and it would make everything right again. Badger, please don't donate anything you don't have. I assume that you are, uh, you do reasonably well, and this is how you're able to donate. And that's that's what I'm going with. Because you seem like, uh, it seems like you have your life put together. So I'm going to assume that that's the case, my friend. But I never want anyone donating anything that they don't have or can't spare. That's not, that's never how I want to. That's never how I want to do it. So as long as you guys, as long as you guys are totally okay with supporting the channel in the way you do, I'm, I'm good. I live in a sewer and my PC is a cardboard box. <laughs> well, I, now I understand why. It's okay. It's just you're using all your. I really want this Senate Guild Mage, but I think we're just going to take the Gateway Plaza for obvious reasons. Wow, that's a late absorb. That's awesome. I'm really excited about that. All right, another Hired Poisoner, too. I think I'm more excited about the Hired Poisoner, to be quite honest. Purple rain. Purple rain. Informant is nice. Um, I don't think I want another three drop is the problem. I either want the one drop or the counter spell. I think I'm going to go with the one drop because it's basically removal that helps keep us alive. I'm also going to take this Viscopa Vampire here. That seems fine. I mean, it's probably better than Gateway Sneak in our deck, but... I prefer more like a middled or a, or a lowered Poisoner as well. I think the hired Poisoner is just a little too high, you know what I mean? Well, we got three gates, which is not a ton. I'm gonna take Righteous Blow. It's better against like the quick decks, and I don't think we really need the three drop. Uh, two drops, fine. Yeah, I think Gateway Sneak is fine on its own. If you end up getting in there, you just get a free you get a free card. And also you can just block. More like Wii Gates. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think he's right. I can't really agree with you. Uh Morgan, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Laughing in the purple rain, purple rain, notion rain. You know, guys, I never meant to cause you any trouble. 
I never meant to cause you any pain. I don't think Taste is actually good in our deck. We have like very few uh, when this creature dies effects. So ironically, we're probably not even going to play our first pick. Yeah, we have like nothing. We have like well, literally one Syndicate Messenger. I think that's a pretty easy cut, unfortunately. Savant. Uh, this guy is pretty good. I agree with you. He does a good look. Oh, wow, the wow. The Demir Informant came back. Okay, so we need one cut here. I actually think this deck turned out pretty good. Time to just cut the Demir Locket. But we have two Azorius Guild Gates and no Demir fixing. We gates is I don't know what I don't know what that German is. You should let me know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna translate it. How are you? <laughs> oh, man. Solid. Solid. I could play 41 with the locket. God, I'm so not against it. Look at this crazy-ass deck. 454. Four. So we have... This would be... Uh, blue sources, we have four, nine. Okay. And then we have four, five, six, seven. And then we have four, five, six. So I'm going to go seven, seven, eight. Oh, we get one more. I guess we'll just add another blue. Right? Because we have double blue, double blue, double black, double black. Double black, double black. Actually, I'm going to add another black. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four, five, six, seven. Okay. So seven, eight, eight. I like this. This deck seems good. I'm a fan. Thank you. Hold on. All right. Wall of ice cream. Thank you so much for the for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Someone picked me up Chinese food for my birthday. I love how everything is like for your birthday today. This is great. Man, Chinese food and a stream. What a time to be alive. I'll keep this hand. Any one land we can play this guy. Shut up and take my money. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Huh. They conceded from the game, which causes them to keep the hand. We won the match. Hooray! This is the second time this has happened in our Ravnica Remix drafts. Good lord. Oh, Badger, thank you so much, dude. Oh my god, I was hoping that you could see by my, uh, I don't want to say incredulous sword, by my shocked face that I, uh, appreciated and was, uh, a little taken aback by your ridiculousness, but, man, you're great. You are ridiculous. And you do share a birthday with Mike B. God, what a time to be alive. Does Star of Truth and Mike B have the same birthday? Oh, whenever you guys say happy birthday to Mike B, I always show the comments on YouTube to Mike B, so. Here's 10 Distorted Truth birthday bits. I like that I got the birthday bits. That's nice. This is a weird, this is a weird, I, I don't understand what happened, but all right. I 
I definitely do. All your birthday wishes make it to Mike. If I see a YouTube comment, that's that's like, hey, happy birthday, Mike. Be I show him, and I'm like, hey, buddy, look, look at all these people wishing you happy birthday. So what are we at now? Oh, a nice a nice round seven hundred. Good lord, of course. The good thing about Badger's donations, I guess that's I guess it's a good thing, is that every time he donates, it's always gonna be a round number. See this hand's not as good, but I am playing against the Silver Surfer. So that's pretty cool. Um I'm gonna keep this hand. We're on the draw, and any color, like white lets us play both of these, black lets us play this. Guildgate. Oh, we did it. I just call him Mike. I mean, this Kaya's Wrath is kind of ambitious. We have to have double black, double white. But, what can you do? I guess you could try to cast it, am I right? Nobody likes Rav Mix, but they only realized post draft and wanted to be good Samaritan. I actually really liked it. I've enjoyed it a ton because it feels like a different format. It feels very fresh, which is super nice. I'm, I'm game. What did they do? They play Murmuring Mystic? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, ugh. I feel like I have to bottom this. I would love to keep the Deadly Visit, but we don't have a second black, so I'm not going to do nothing next turn. I guess we could play Notion Rain. I don't know. If it isn't too personal, I thought you were a lady, Badger. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're not the first and won't be the last. Morgan said bye bio and I thought it said bye boy B-O-I and I was like huh um yeah we can keep that that seems totally fine well that's just fine oh if you're just gonna throw these guys away I'm, I'm game Happy National Distorted Truth Birthday Day. That's the best day. Yes, Badger has yes, Badger has mentioned husband uh a couple times, so I think the default is to just assume female, but that is not how things work. Uh Ritual of Soot killed everything, but Yep, that's pretty good. So that's a that's a three for one. That's a three for. I kind of want to hit a land here, so I'm going to awkwardly play this. Well, we hit a land, so that's nice. I guess we can actually let them overextend until we hit a second. We can actually play this and just try to get Kai's Wrath going. So I bought this huge speaker to use at the bar to play music and entertain, and I was listening to your stream on it, and all of a sudden it started doing a super loud alarm right next to my ear while I was driving. It's, what was the alarm? What was it? Oh, assuming a weather warning. Okay, I was like, was it... From me? And I guess the answer is no. So we can go like this to mirror lock it. Notion rain. Some stayed dry while others feel the pain. Notion rain. Uh, we're going to put this in the graveyard. We'll put this on top. Oh, we just got another one. That's pretty neat. Nothing, huh? Fascinating. 
All right, one, two, three. I really just want to get rid of Murmuring Mystic, although if they end up countering this and also getting a token out of it, it's pretty bad for us. But alas, it was not that bad for us. Well, I'd Shut like up, to know where morning. you got the notion. Wait, this is a donation stream now? Well, my payday is tomorrow, so I have some bucks. Oh, Josh, you're awesome. Phil Ricker, if everyone's donating, I want to get on the action. To start the truth, tell me be happy fellow Pi Day birthday for me. Oh, man, you guys are great. You guys are ridiculous. I will definitely tell him like that. Josh, thank you so much. Phil Ricker, thank you so much, guys. You are great. You are the greatest. Potentially the greatest of all. Do I... Uh, do I pause the Roomba? Is it... As out of you and me bits? What does that mean? I don't understand the... I don't understand the comment. Okay, as long as you guys can't hear the Roomba, that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It won't let me say the word? Oh! Out of you and me bits. I got you. A thousand assume bits. That's nice. I get it. I'm game. I get. I get it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna mute the. I'm gonna. Mute, I'm gonna pause the Roomba from my phone. God, what a time to be alive, guys. Let me go to the iRobot app. I'm gonna pause the clean. And it just stopped. Did you hear it? Did you hear it stop? I did this the other day while I was streaming. It was in the living room. And I was like, God, it's loud. And I kept pausing it. And then Felipe would come by and start it again. Because he's like, God, I guess the Roomba got stuck. Let me start it again. So he would press the button on there. And I would I would press it. I would turn it off again on my phone. I feel like we're both playing grindy control decks here. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the Roomba beat. It's true. It's true. I feel like I do everything right. I, I feed the Roomba. I feed it energy. I clean it. I make sure it's nice and clean. I feel like if it wanted to kill me, that'd be weird because we actually have... I feel like we have a good relationship, the Roomba and I. I think you're a great Roomba, Dad. Oh, man. Does it bother you to know that your Roomba was radicalized by Skynet? Not really. I think until we until we provoke the robot human war that Skynet's not a, a real concern until we uh, until the future comes to pass. You know what I mean? Does it bother you to know that the Roomba listens to your conversations? No, because my conversations are with the Roomba. So if it's not listening, then that's just rude of it. That's rude ba. Nailed it. Why is this disinformation campaign not resolving? They have six cards and it is a locket. I have no idea what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have nine lands in place, so they didn't miss any land drops. A plus. Nice. They're deciding whether to concede the match, just like all your Ravnica remix opponents. Hey, it resolved. That's pretty good. So they lose one, go to five. I go up to five. One, two, three, four. We both have nine mana and a locket in play. What are you doing in response? Oh, you're drawing two. That makes sense. So now you you have the, the you discard the best. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I'm definitely gonna just play Skyguard. Or, or we just play Whisper Agent. Eh, maybe then we can replay this. I like this a little better. Uh, definitely keeping that on top. Phil Rickner, also the cheerlead. Really appreciate it, buddy. Congrats. Congrats. 
I have no problem with people being the cheerlead. It benefits me, you know. What is this you're going to do? Five mana hypothesis. Sure. These are all good cards. They have 14 cards left in their deck. Is this format just about like doing the most dirtily things? Oh, they did get a direct current in their graveyard, which is not bad. We have five cards. They have six cards. All right. That's a 4-4 I don't have to deal with, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. We can also play this next turn for one, two, three, four, five, and then replay this information campaign yet again. Presuming they don't kill it. I mean, there's got to be a counterspell somewhere, right? Maybe not. Well, even if they kill it, we can still get the disinformation campaign, so. Yep, you got it. They scry, we surveil. Basically the same thing, only we have to throw our cards away if we don't want them. Uh, I want both of these. Put on top and put on top of the top. Bring this back to the old hand to And... I'm actually going to play the land here because I don't want to get quenched if they just happen to have a quench. I don't think they do. Now we are ahead on all the things, and we'll just play this Hired Poisoner. Two years ago, my doctor told me I was going... Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Haven't heard from him since. <laughs> oh, Lord. I have been burned by Quench too many times. You ain't kidding. It's not my first Quench rodeo. Whatever that means. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, we can do everything, can't we? Thank you. Distorted truth of the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Happy subs. I like that. I like that you both donated and subscribed on your birthday. That. That is a generosity I haven't seen in a thousand years I actually conceded a game today because I thought I was playing mid game and accidentally roped for way too long I felt bad Are you felt, did you feel bad because you lost or because you made your opponent wait because those are those are different feels for sure alright they have ritual of soot we have Kaya's wrath so that's kind of funny we're both like he's great they're, they're Grixis we're Esper we're both playing control decks grindy control decks although they do have Azorius Guildgate yeah that's a big one My Night Veil Predator is pretty big, though. Bond on the Edge Rock and Novar. The bartender says, oh, no, not you two again. <laughs> the problem is none of these should be funny. None of these should be, like... Oh, that's rough. Um... Can't activate its abilities. Can't attack. Can't block. Yeah, it's just cheaper. It's situations like this where you just wish you kept the, the Hired Poisoner in hand because it wasn't, like... Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. One, a two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm going to keep everything on top. Wow, I forgot we were surveilled after that, so disinformation campaign is just insane. Is it possible they have the shuffle effect? In a recent video, he roped while playing Team of Reclamation and talked to the chat, and it was so sad, especially because the rope animation wasn't shown. Oh, that's rough. The problem with MTG Arena, which isn't really a problem, is that like the matches are so inconsequential. Like if you lose a ranked game because you roped and the animation didn't show up, like it sucks, but it's really like there's no real cost to it. If that makes sense. Like you're never like, oh no, I lost something of value. It's like you just replay the game. Even the cakes were in tears. I can't tell if you just have, like, an endless supply of dad jokes at the ready, or if you're literally just, like, writing these down as you go. I'm not writing them down, but, like, reading them off like, a, oh, that's a, that's a solid trade.
Badger, is RPG a, a reference to a role-playing game, or are those initials? Oh, that dude's big. But not that big. He is a real punny guy. That is no joke. Initials, but do play RPGs as well. Okay. What's happening right now? Is this a final? Oh, no, it's a final. Oh, no, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Wow. Thank you. Yikes. Frank is friend, non food. Enemies, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this was pretty good. One, two, three, four. Yes, a yikes for me, dog. <sighs> All right, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Crack this try to draw a land if we haven't played one yet we have not so we can play this play gateway sneak next turn we can azorius guildgate to make this unblockable that's a nine nine ugh mortify is just we have a, another deadly visit in the deck oh no we don't it was it, we milled it. was like one of the first things we milled. That's pretty brutal. I mean, we can just block this guy, I presume. It's not ideal. They do have a direct current in the graveyard. That's worth keeping in mind. Our deck seems great, and so does theirs. Oh, God. Do they have explosion expansion? Are they just going to literally kill us here? Wow. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. That is unfortunate. They never don't have it. <sighs> it's obnoxious. So we're definitely bringing in multiple counter spells here. Thought collapse, devious cover up. I wish we took the absorb, but we can easily cut like dead weight, which I don't think is that great. Capture Sphere we might not need. Pop goes the weasel. Yeah, I think Petitioner might be better than like an Impassioned Orators, actually. I think that's probably good. I will play first. Um, again, we'll keep it. Any black is great. They're they're not a particularly fast deck. Ideally, a black source on turn two would be great. Gateway Plaza on turn two would be great. Then we can go Disinformation and Notion Rain.
I mean, we we did like all the all the uh, disinformation campaign triggers in the world don't stop a nine nine flyer. Like once they just hit a nine nine flyer, you're just like, okay, I guess you got it. You got me. Oh my god, that was a good draw. Nailed it. I feel like I, I should have taken the poisoners out as well. And we hit another black so we can go poisoner into notion rain. That's pretty good. This is where they go notion rain. Or this is where they go disinformation campaign. Okay, notion rain is actually fine. Let's go Notion Rain. One, two, three. I actually want both of these. Put on top. Put on top. The reason is we have um We have Kaya's Wrath in hand, so I want to be able to Kaya's Wrath and Second Planes is helpful. I didn't want to believe my dad was stealing from his job as a road worker, but when I got home all the signs were there. <laughs> oh, this is messed up. That's not right. I think we can actually just run this guy out here and start getting the job done. They probably don't have an answer for this. Or we can just put persistent petitioners. Uh, yeah, this is actually fine. I like this better. This chat has... This chat has gone on long enough. I think of all, as I get older, I think all the people I've lost along the way, maybe a career as a tour guide wasn't for me. Oh my god. Six cards in hand. One, two, three, four, one, two. We can go Sphinx into per Persistent Petitioners. Uh, we can also just go Disinf... Eh, we're not going to hit a Counterspell, so I guess we're just attacking here. Oh, man. Oh, that's totally fine. I am totally okay with this. Unless you're going to make me sacrifice a guy. <sighs> if we played a guy first, we actually wouldn't have had to worry about that. That's sad. These are great plays. I mean, like, getting rid of the 1-1. One, one, and then Undercity's embracing us is pretty insane. Yeah, that is a dude. Oh, I guess I'll need a blue for that. One, two, three. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. Steel Legion, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I <laughs> just couldn't see him doing it. Wow. You guys are the worst.
was aggressive. Let's no blocks that. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we can actually play Dovin Bon and Kaya's Wrath here. Dovin on an empty board seems pretty good. Purple rain, purple rain. It's weird that they actually have... Um, it's weird that they have foils in these packs because it's a phantom draft, so it's weird that they just include foils. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're probably just gonna... Explosion expansion dove in for three. Well, Kaya's Wrath is, is not a mythic. Oh, Hypothesis of Killing the 1-1, one -one. sure. Discarding Ritual of Snoot. I kind of just want to dump a bunch of dudes. Ritual of Soot's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually go Poisoner and Skyguard. And they have one card. Man, this Gateway Plaza has just been sitting here. Oh my god, I forgot all my boomerang jokes, but I'm sure they'll come back to me. Oh boy. Oh boy. I bet they will. You know, I bet they will. This is where they go beacon bolt for one, two. Yep. Make a bird boy. Um two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so we can actually play Demir Lock. I think we're just gonna play Poisoner first. So we can go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Yeah, we're just gonna play Deadly Visit and keep a Poisoner. Because this guy's got to go. Um, put you on top. I'll put both on top. I really have no issue with these guys. Uh, we could have Dovin first, then attacked, then Wrath, but like we wanted to make a guy after the Wrath. So I would say no. I dropped the dog in the legs and named him Cigarette because every morning I take him out for a drag. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Yeah, this is explosion expansion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Casual draw four. Kill your planeswalker. Seems good. Gateway Plaza is actually proving useful now that we have a gateway sneak. Yep.
Another another rack another locky. Lock it in my pocket. Lock it in my pocket. There's a locket in my pocket. Um let's play Gateway Plaza. Let's keep it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is a fine trade. I'm not gonna waste a deadly visit on this when they have infinite like big fat dudes. What is this? You're gonna kill my guy? We have one card? Wow, that's rude. Man, these... I, I mean, I was going to take out the Hired Poisoners, but they've been definitely trading for... They basically... They've been doing some work. Some heavy lifting, if you will. Let's add a blue... There's a locket in my pocket. I thought I knacked for catching a rare fish. Turned out it was a fl <laughs> You guys are not... You guys are not great. I mean, you guys are great. Creeping chocolate fish at home can have a, a calming effect on the brain due to all the indoor fins. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Wow! Oh, Blood Operative is pretty obnoxious. Tape shoes to work. Wow. So I have one card in hand. One, two, three, four, five. We can, we can play Watcher. I don't really want them to use this, so I think we're actually deadly visiting this. <sighs> but the problem is, like, we have like things like Dead Weight, and I really don't want to use a deadly visit that can easily kill. It's our second deadly visit. I think we just have to play this guy instead. Oh, all right. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll put both of these on top. Gargoyle? Gateway Gargoyle? Oh my god, yes. Absolutely yes. That's great. In my pocket. There's a pocket in my pocket. Well, that's pretty brutal. Yep, this is pretty rough. That's probably going to seal the deal. <laughs> Cuz this is going to kill us in like two turns now. We have no we have no way to deal with ill-gotten inheritance right now. Oh, actually, they just double attack us, don't they? They attack us with both. We take one, one, and then we're dead. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, literally, we don't actually have a way to survive this turn, so... That's pretty sad. I mean, this is a hell of a top deck, again. Like, they just literally top deck this, and they have a way to deal a six, and get rid of our two removal spells in hand. I mean, otherwise, we're just at 12, and we have a 
pretty easy way to survive. So, yep, their deck was insane. Lock it in my pocket. Lock it in my pocket. It's also top taking expansion explosion. Yeah, I mean, like, they just... Yeah, top taking expansion explosion to kill our Planeswalker and to draw them four cards. Then when they have no cards in hand, top taking a card that deals us six and... Uh, draw and uh makes us discard our last two cards which are both amazing pretty rough what in my pocket does it lock it in my pocket Oh yeah, this hand's pretty bad. Inescapable Blaze is well, it's not back. I mean it's 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 in the two sets, and the two sets are mixed, so. Mulligan. Keep. I'll put that in the bottom. Lock it in my pocket. Do you guys know about the lock it in my pocket? Should have blessed on to okay, well, maybe. Helpful helpful afterthoughts are helpful. There is one bug flying around me, and it is Kill this guy, put him in the garbage can. Put him in the garbage can. Garbage can man, take me by the hand, put you in the trash can. Two oon oons. Okay. Nope, blue. Which information campaign even is this, man? Uh, why bottom two drop? It just doesn't do anything. Like, we don't have any other creatures to take advantage of it. It's literally just a 2-2. Two -two. So, I'm just not really interested in that. I'd much rather have, like, removal or bigger creatures, like... Even, like, a hired poisoner is... Uh, better before they before they have these one ones like a hired poisoner is going to be better if we see a I don't know it depends on what they're playing but like I can't like it's just the 2-2 two -two is, is basically just filler you know it's not like a super exciting card well the only thing we can do is play this and play Azorius Guildgate here so that's not exciting ideally we'll get some kind of uh, some kind of action here at some point. But not today. I mean, ideally, they just don't have a way to deal with 3-3 three, three flyer. Sacrifice a creature. I'm waiting for it. They always have the Mortify. Skewer the Critics. 
the lava coil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have drawn ten mana sources so far. That's pretty neat. Are you gonna can you play this guy? Oh, the internet died again. That's absolutely amazing. Yep. Well, having a good time. Yep. This is cool. I'm just gonna wait it out. You guys on YouTube, I apologize for the delay here. But there's no pause. I wish there was a pause feature on OBS where I could pause it and then restart recording. But it's either I I either make multiple videos and splice them together in editing, or I just you guys sit here for a couple minutes while I wait for the internet to come back. Usually it comes right back usually I'll definitely be calling spectrum tonight and being like hey every single day while I've been streaming I've had an internet outage and that's not really that's not really feasible for me man take me by the internet well it went down at 655 and it's 657 so it's been down for about two minutes so I'm not gonna be thankfully like our deck we're kind of behind in this game but we've drawn a million lands last game I think their deck was just a little bit stronger than ours and the first round we didn't really get to play so unfortunately this draft is not looking to be hyper productive although i don't feel like there's anything wrong with our deck per se it feels like this one we're just getting mana screwed the first winning gets play and uh yeah maybe i do have to splice these together I think we just came back so I apologize for the three minute delay here let's find out let's log in okay we did it wow well that was obnoxious four minutes 
Well, at least it was only it wasn't enough to like get us kicked out of the draft. So Okay, we played this guy. Did we play a land yet? I imagine we did. Let's keep moving. Still not still not back on Twitch yet, unfortunately. Is there a reconnect button? I don't know. It doesn't do anything. I don't know why I would think that. Because I'm entering into the Twitch chat, which has nothing to do with OBS. Actually, I so like the thing is if we kill this guy, it's better if we draw Kaya's Wrath. If we kill this guy, one of these two, it's better if we draw pretty much anything else. <sighs> Yikes. It's actually not terrible, but it's not great either. It's just gonna take some time to get going. I mean we can block either one of these, which is nice, as long as they don't have an answer for this one creature. My god. Yeah, I mentioned it while, uh, while we were offline, but I'm definitely calling Spectrum tonight because I've had internet outages like every single day. At every day, the internet goes down for at least four minutes or three minutes, and it's just extremely frustrating. Nothing really happened. They attacked with everybody. We blocked with Hired Poisoner. They had another removal spell, which they... Of course, why wouldn't they? And... Um, yeah. Now we're going to six. I, this is just really like. Yeah. All right. I'm just not. This is just not rewarding. It's not, I'm not having a rewarding experience when we're drawing one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands and a locket, and then four spells. Like it's just that's just bullshit. Like, I, I mean, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Like it's it just sucks. It's not. It's not fun. Uh, I'm gonna take the locket out. Do you have any better two drops? The per persistent, the, yeah, this guy's probably fine to just bring in. Just as a dude, I guess. You can take out Capture Sphere, I guess. It's definitely variants. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not like, I'm not like super upset about it. It's just a matter of like, our first round we didn't get to play because our opponent just literally disappeared. Our second round was super close, but they topped it very, very well and their deck was, their deck was stronger than ours, I, I think. Um, and our third round, we literally just drew eleven lands. So it's like, I don't know. It's 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 a com it's a combination of the whole draft experience for this single time. Plus, like getting knocked off the internet for like four minutes is not ideal either. Ocean man. And it sucks having to like constantly be worried about whether I'm on the internet or not. Oh man, am I still connected? I don't know. And I'm like, gee, why can't I respond? Oh, let me check the internet. Of course it's down again. That's what happens. It's just really obnoxious. Hey, I, I do this for a living. Can I have internet stay around? I'm gonna bottom this. I don't think we need a fourth land at this juncture. Yeah, I mean, I've looked into business connection, but the, the price jump is significant, right? And like, I shouldn't need a business connection for the streaming I do because I don't really stream like, like I shouldn't need a business connection just so that it like, just so that the internet works at the most basic level. And so it doesn't, like, stop working daily. You know what I mean? Especially not when it's, like, Spectrum slash Bright House, which is one of the largest internet providers in the country. But I get what you're saying. I've definitely looked into it. But, like, I think it's, like, $300. Uh, yeah, right, $400 a month. I think they have for $299 or $300 versus, like, the 60 I pay now. You know? And, like...
I just need to donate more so you can get it. Wow. All donations that you guys give right now are definitely going to uh, recouping my car expenses because they were substantial. And, and surprising, too. I did not expect to have this much. Last week, I, I had the uh, the lights come on, like the, the emergency light, like the, hey, man, there's something wrong, the big, the big uh, triangle with the exclamation mark in it. And I was like, well, I need to get that checked out. And so they ran diagnostics, and they're like, you need a new 12-volt battery because that's probably uh, making a lot of the... A lot of the problems we're just gonna block here the reason is like they can just block this guy back there's no way we're attacking through this guy with vigilance so we might as well just play him now get the surveil block this guy and put in the graveyard unfortunately we have no blue mana here I think the internet is going out because the universe is a stimulation it's likely it's pro it's possible yeah i mean it, the, the reason being is that like Whoever is running the simulation has chosen to make the internet go out. Maybe as like a test to me. You know what I mean? I mean, this is these are just I'm the character in the the simulation, and these are just my personal trials and tribulations. So, um, you know, that's just how it's gonna go. Come watch her in the mist and not a single blue source. The problem with this this particular situation and matches is that like now if I draw a blue source, it does nothing. And she enjoyed it but was confused by it. <laughs> That's hilarious that like called shots are such a thing in my stream. That like when you use like a kind of like matrix simulation meme in other streams, like it doesn't even occur to them that that's what it is, you know what I mean? Really, I would totally attack with these soldiers here. Like, worst case scenario, I block one and you're trading a one for a, a guy and you're still gaining the life. But if you're not blocking this guy, then like, really, what are you doing with your life? I I think I did. So, so our first game, we got 11 mana sources, 12 mana sources, and four cards. Uh, our second game, we have no blue and mono blue cards in our hand. So, you know, it's pretty much how my day is going. You know, it's pretty much how we're doing. Ugh. Oh, now you're attacking with those guys. I don't understand. This is all very confusing to me. The entire game is very confusing. The entire... Yeah, that guy's fine. This is all fine. That guy's fine. List of words containing meow. Meow, meowed, meowing, meows, homeowner. <laughs> okay, I'm a fan of everything that's happening here. Well, at least we have a blocker now. There's no way they can possibly get rid of this guy. Seems good. Pretty, 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 pretty. I think we're definitely blocking this guy. Pretty good. I 
actually probably should have blocked with this guy and then we'd still have this guy to block here but the problem with that is it makes all of their their one one dudes better so now they just make a four four could have also taken four and just had a better blocker every other turn i don't know man this is a hard this is a hard game to navigate so far Now we're just taking four. Can we get one blue source for Distorted Truth birthday? One time. Okay, dead weight, I guess. That's not a blue source, but I guess it is helpful. Helpful to let us survive, I guess. I mean, the funny thing is, like, three of our blue sources do come into play tapped, so it's not like it's... It's not like it's unlikely. It's almost half of our blue sources. And that's a wedding Pinterest board. Yeah. Yeah. These have been good games. These have been really good games. We do have Kaya's Wrath. We do have Kaya's Wrath. We have Kaya's Wrath, and we also have blue sources in our deck too, which is, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's all meaningless, but. This is where they just kill our 2 2 and then alpha, right? Yep. All right. So we're halfway there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to two. We Kaya's Wrath. They get a 1 1, and then we have literally no plays. Cool. All right. This was not an ideal draft. Our round two opponent had an utterly busted deck. Uh, I thought our deck was good. But um, apparently when you don't draw any blue sources and then you draw 11 lands and 4 spells in the first game, you are not poised to win those games. Unfortunately. Either way, thank you guys for being here. really appreciate it. If you're on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. really appreciate it. Don't forget, check out Mana Traders. The link is in the description below. With, with the promo link that I have, you will get 20% off your first 3 month subscription, which is a great, great deal if you are looking to borrow or rent physical or paper, physical or digital uh, magic online cards um you can also check out coolstuffinc.com and you'll get five percent off with promo code frank5 and you will also get 15 percent off in free shipping and free returns at meundies.com slash frank all of these things are great ways to support the channel you can click on all these links you will get discounts and you get to support the channel so great great deals all around thank you guys so much for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons i'll see you next time <laughs>